Chris Lord back on the job, Chris Lord contracting. Today we're doing something that you've probably never seen before on YouTube, and we're one of the only companies in Philadelphia area that does this. Helical ties. What they are is they're an alternative to star bolts. Star bolts is when in an old home when your your front facade is starting to bow out a little bit and it's a double layer of brick. There's an inside brick and an outside brick and they start in the middle a lot a lot of times it starts pushing out it's either their both layers are moving or the outside layers separating from the inside what you have to do is your joists that usually run end to end on the party walls you have to drill a hole and a big three quarter inch bolt and you go through like three or four joists and then you nut it and then there's a big metal star that acts as a washer then you tighten it up and it, it doesn't correct the bow. You can't correct it unless you tear it down, but it'll stop it from bowing anymore and it'll just hold it in place and stabilize your front facade. Now what we're doing here is helical ties. And the reason why we're doing helical ties is number one, the bow isn't in line with the joists. The joists are here at the floor and up top at the ceiling. So there's a couple things you can do. You can still do stars, but you have to add a post or a framing so you have something to bolt it to. But it's not as strong because you're not getting it through three or four joists. They, so it, yeah. it's not going to give you as much support. Now, my brother-in-law, Vinny, is out there getting ready to drill a couple ties in. And you can see them right here. See these right here? That's a tie. We frame this wall right here. And we put blocking up there. If you look at the blocking and the joist because the wall actually fell in between two joists. So we added the blocking, put hangers on each side, and now our, our structural wall gets attached to that. So that's tied in to the top joist, tied in with the bottom plate at the bottom, and then we drill our ties. Now, sometimes it's a little tricky because the ties are 14 inches long in this case. You might miss one here and there. So you just make sure you have enough in case that happens. Like if you look here, here he missed. It can't, he drilled on slight of an angle and he missed. So there's one right on top of it to make sure he connects. So you have somebody on the outside doing it, somebody on the inside, making sure you're not missing or splitting wood. And then if you do, you just move and, and you do it another uh, place. I so, miss rarely. And Vinny says he misses rarely. So here's Vinny. <laughs> Vinny's going to drill one in. He's going to show you how to do it. And he just drilled that hole. And now there's a special tool. Show him that tool. This tool goes on the, the rotary hammer and then it'll drive that, that heel we tie, that stitch right in. I almost don't like showing people this. It's like I'm giving away our secrets. But now somebody else is gonna start doing all this stuff, you know? Yeah. Somebody's gotta do That's it. That's the negative thing about YouTube. It's like, you know, we're showing people our stuff when like the and then he starts to see yeah, it's like free teaching. I should, you know. Now here's the stitch, it's gonna drive it right in. Ooh, was that the short one? Is that it? Pull it out. Put a longer one in. Right. Well, I got to do that one above right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here you go. Yeah, so, so we have a couple different sizes because this brick wall is both so much that this is the thing with these. You got to have a couple different sizes. And if they hit, you just pull it out and you, you get I one that it. does hit. So we have, yeah, we have like 12s, that. we have 14s, we have 16s. Nick's See, fault. and that, that's why that happened, because he got cocky, and he said, I rarely miss. And then when we're shooting a YouTube video, he misses. He didn't miss, he just used a shorter one. You weren't sure of the size. And that's it. And that's twisted in, and now on the outside, all you have to do, if you see these holes, you just get a little brick die and match the holes, or a little mortar die. Most of them go through the mortar, but the hole gets into the brick a little bit, but that's so minimal that it, you know, see like that hole there, you just get a little mortar die, 
get a little red dye and you, you put it in and you patch that up and you never see it. And then you just repoint the mortar. So that's it. So that's your local ties. Uh, and that's basically how you do it. Oh yeah, one more thing. Before we did it, we did a light tar coat on this wall just to stabilize it because uh, I mean, it's all brick. Like it, it's, it, it, it needed it, you know, all the mortar in between the bricks was gone. So we did a light parse coat just to help stabilize it. And then we did our ties. So that's it. And I'm signing off. If you like this video, press like, subscribe, and uh, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one.